Hello, I'm Bembi and I'm gonna talk about my song, Anna. It's a touchy one. Hello, I know she's in your dreams. She's been there since her from team. I know she knows that my heart bleeds. But I guess she's stuck with me. So I started writing Anna in my bedroom. I'd come up uh, just playing my guitar and Initially, I wrote the song in in a different concept, so it was it was meant to be like a heartbreak song. So that like it, it originally was hello, I know he's he's in my dreams, like blah blah blah. And then I got to the writing session, and I was with uh, TMS and 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 Pierce from Rudimental, and um, with my friend Connor, and I started playing. I had this chorus and they were like you know we we really love this but it feels like it's not you and and, and then you know it then became a discussion to touch on something that was a really really difficult time for me when I was when I was growing up like a, as a teenager so we we changed the the concept of the song and and, and we called it Anna and and basically the song, this song is, is a very touchy one for me. It's, it's about eating disorders and it's, it's about anorexia. And it's something that I really, really struggled with when I was a teenager. And, and still, it's never going to leave. So um, this song was almost a letter to my eating disorder, but also a a way for me to, you know, because I, 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 during that time I put a lot of my loved ones through a lot of pain and I think writing that song for me was like a triumphant moment, like a relief that to, to be like, you know, I've, I've made so much progress to, to where I was and, and especially, you know, for my family and friends when they listen to that song, it, it you know, it, I think it reminds them of where I was and, and, and how that could have, um, oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> how that could have ended up, because it could have, uh, it could have gone like, it could have gone in a really, really, um, it could have gone really bad. Um, so like that, it's a really, really important song for me, and I think I've never really spoken about that time in my life because I've always been so, you know, scared to, you know, o like open up about very like personal things, like in, you know, of, of what that that actually was. But that was a really tough time, and I think that when I listen, I, I struggle to listen to that song to be honest, but. Um, I also am like, it, that song means everything to me. And I think it, it will mean a lot to other people that are, are struggling with that sort of thing. For me, I just, I, I, I go back to that time and I, I, I've, I wish that I could, you know, grab my younger self and just be like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, but also, I'm, I, I I don't think I'd change that period of my life because it's why I'm why I'm here and and I th I, th I really I really truly do believe that everything does happen for a reason and I, and I went through that for a reason and that's something that will always stick with me and that's like one of the lyrics is you know like I guess she's I guess she's stuck with me because it's a different it's a it's like a whole different part of my my brain but I'm 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 grateful to be alive and I'm I'm so grateful that I get to do things like this and and you know make make music and do what I truly love for a living and you know like music is something that brought me out of that that hole that I was in and also a lot of good support and good people around me and I was really uh, quite scared to put it on my mixtape because I it was then me going, okay, you know, if someone's going through that, they're gonna know what this means. It was like me sharing a very, very personal 
time with essentially with the world but I I had a gut feeling that I knew that I needed to do it because it's for me then that's that's another step in recovery is taking the power away from the thing from your biggest demon I think it gets me every time makes me cry every time and singing that live is hard as well but I can see when I sing it live, the effect that it's had on on my fans, and that it's a it's a beautiful thing. It's, it's a good one. I hold it hold it close to my heart very much. So.